So let's have a look at notes in colab.org 3.3. We log in as Alice and we go over to the notes section. We see in the notes section already a bunch of notes defined. We see the notes use full HTML in a rich text editor with images even if you want. They have tags, you can remove tags. You can also, of course also add tags again. So let's just drag and drop this tag on here. You see tag cloud is automatically updated. You can filter through the tag cloud um, to make sure you find the notes you're looking for. You can sort those notes either by title or when they were last modified and so have an easy way of finding notes again. You can add more notebooks if you want. And for these notebooks, you can also very easily control sharing with other users or groups on your system. And so can have any setup that really makes sense for you. We can move notes between the notebooks simply by drag and drop. And so you see the new note is here and the old notes are still here, but now minus the one we dragged and dropped and we head over to mail because this is something that we are truly proud of. So you select an email, you add a note, and you see you can create yet another note here. You can create tags, you can edit in the usual rich text editor, anything you want really. And then you can save the note. Now you see this note showing up in the email um, pane and you can click on this and edit the note again, bring it back up. But also what you can do is from the notes section, find this note again. And in fact, see that you have a little link down here that is semantically linked with your email. So it finds the email in your inbox or wherever you have moved it. And in fact, brings it back up. We can also do notes across um, devices, of course. So here you see an Android emulator with a notes app through active sync and you see the note we just created is already here. So it's been instantaneously pushed over to the device. We can also create a new note, of course, on the Android device. So let's just type something in without making too many mistakes. And then we save the note. All right, we see the note, of course, on the Android device, as we would expect. But more interestingly, perhaps, is on the server, we can also find that note now in the notebook. So two-way sync works, works perfectly well. And that's all we had to show. For more information, head on over to colab.org.